Finally here at 6, Wednesday is Veterans Day, a time to pay tribute to veterans past and present. In 2003, our Mike Stevens found a place in Sullivan County where that happens every day. And that's tonight's trip back down the Pennsylvania Road. Uh, well, actually the Endless Mountains War Memorial Museum in Sonestown. It's a place where you can walk alongside history, truly. As a matter of fact, if Tyler Sullivan is on hand, you can make history stand still. Have it explained to you. Not really much protection, though, is it? Well, it's basically designed from a shell fragments falling down on you, not from getting a bullet into it. Most of the items on display in here are from Jack Kraft's collection. He wanted to share it with us to try to make sure we all know that the freedoms we enjoy today, to tell this story, for example, were bought and paid for by a lot of men and women. I think a lot of it's taken for granted, and that's my main uh, object is to try and remind people, you know, exactly what was sacrificed. It's a museum that shows the ordinary stuff of war, of being in war, of longing for home. There are stories about those who never came back. Staff Sergeant Ray McMahon didn't, and so became the only soldier from Sullivan County to die in Vietnam. But this museum is also a story about those who did come back. Leonard Krakowski did, even though there were close calls. He was there for the writing of a lot of military history. After World War II, I went back into the Korean War, and I stayed in the I served with the 82nd Airborne, Air Special Forces, 2nd Missile Command. I was in quite a few. The Endless Mountains War Memorial Museum, where history comes alive, along with a few memories. Mike Stevens, Newswatch 16, on the Pennsylvania Road in Sonstown.